In the previous set of videos, as part of template-driven form learning, we have already completed implementation of a sign-up form. After sign-up, once a user logs into the application, an update profile screen needs to be provided. This screen helps the user to modify the details entered during sign-up. In this video, we are going to see how to implement update profile page using template-driven form. Ideally, update profile page should be developed by creating a new component. In this new component, the sign-up form code can be copied and pasted after which the changes for update profile can be implemented. But for quick demonstration purpose, I am going to directly modify the sign-up form code. For modify page, the form fields should be pre-populated with current data. For example, if Stella is the user logging in into the application, then the sign-up details entered by Stella should be pre-populated in the update profile page. The data for modify page has to come from database through backend service. As we are focusing on Angular, the data will be hardcoded in app.component.ts. I am hardcoding the data for Stella by changing the constructor parameter values with name as Stella, email as Stella at gmail.com status having id as 2 and name as employed gender as f password as pass123 dollar and promotions as true in app.component.html i am modifying the heading as update profile then changing the submit button value as save instead of sign up I am saving both the files. After the page reload, we can see the form elements pre-populated in name, email, gender, password and promotions. Since two-way data binding is already implemented on these form fields, these fields are getting pre-populated. The status field is supposed to have employed pre-selected Instead, select status option is selected, which we need to fix. When I modify the form data, we can see validations are working. We can also see that the modified data gets reflected in the user object. When I select a status, we can see the respective status getting updated in the user object. When submitting the form, the data from user object can be sent to the backend. We can see how we can reuse the existing signup form code and convert it to implement update profile page without having the need to completely rework on the coding. Hope this demonstration helps you understand how to convert an add page into modify page when using template driven form. Let me summarize the changes to be done. In app.component.html, change the heading to update profile, then the button labeled as save. In app.component.ts, update the constructor with some sample user data. Save both the files, check if all the fields except status element is pre-populated check if validations are working and verify if the form data is reflected in the user object. In the next video, we will understand why select status element is not working as expected.